Hello everyone, this week we are in Parashat Toldot. Toldot means the generations of, but it's not. First of all, we have to understand that the study, the weekly study of every parasha, the story of that parasha, has two goals, two effects. One is to teach us to read in between the lines, not just in the Torah, but in our lives. And the other one, all the remedies to every problem that we can uh, deal with or face with, you can find in this weekly parasha, which means that needs delving, that's me need, that needs studying, but will give you the basic hints. And it says, these are the generations of Isaac, and who was Isaac? If we understand Kabbalistic study, spirituality, we understand that Isaac is the left side of our consciousness, which means that side that wants to receive, that side that desires, that side, that side that without it, we're not alive. Many people have a name for it, and it's called the ego. And you have to understand, without an ego, a human being is not alive. When a person says, I deserve to be happy, that's ego. When a person says, I want to have a good life, that's ego. When a person says, I want to achieve something, I want to be close to the Creator, this is ego. Why? Without that ego, he will never dare to make a step forward, to study, to learn, to put some effort. Just the thought that I can be better, I can be bigger, I can be more powerful, I can achieve something, that has to do with what is called ego. And that's called Isaac. However, we learned that Isaac has to be bound by Abraham. We learned it in previous weeks. Which means when Abraham wants to kill Isaac, the angel of God says, don't touch the lad. Why? Very simple. The purpose of the creation according to Kabbalah is that the Creator wants to share grace, happiness, everything. Endless sharing. However, if we, the creatures, the created beings, do not have any desire to be better, to achieve more, we're not a vessel and we cannot fulfill the purpose of the creation. So, having an ego is a given. Without an ego, you don't get up, out of bed in the morning because you say, Who am I? I'm nobody. I'm nothing. I don't deserve anything, I shouldn't get anything. So, you stay in bed. Why? Why should I get out of bed? For what? I'm not good at anything, I'm not capable of doing anything, I'm just nobody, I'm so, I have to be so humble that I'm not capable of doing anything. Others are much better than I do. That's a negative ego, by the way. But an ego is an ego. I'm here because the Creator created me so I can receive whatever He created. All the endless goodness, that's for me. And I'm here to get it. That's ego. But the ego has two outcomes. And that's the meaning of the word toldot. Toldot means the generations of, but it means also the outcomes of. Tolada means something that comes out of something. Cause and effect. The ego has two outcomes. And what are the two outcomes? Very simple. Rebecca, Rivka is pregnant. And they are twins. And in verse 22 of chapter 25 in Genesis, it says, Vaitrotsatsu habanim bekirba. And the boys were running inside her. But the Zohar says, not running, Vaitrotsatsu. Vaitrotsatsu means they were breaking each other's head. They were fighting. Every person has two aspects to his personality. Jacob and Esau. Jacob is part of the ego and Esau is another side of your ego. The real me is that ego that has a desire to receive for the sake of sharing. Yes, I want. I want to be rich. I want to be happy. I want to be powerful. I want to be wise. I want because God created me for that purpose and I can do so much good 
with that desire. So, whatever I want, I make sure that other people gain out of it also. That's the Jacob inside each one of us. The other one, Esau, is the one that wants just for himself. I want and I care nothing about anybody. I'll take whatever I want, whenever I want, as much as I want, and I don't care about anyone else. This is Esau. We have both of them inside us. These are the generations of Isaac. You have a desire to receive, you have an ego, you have both of them. One is the real you, Jacob. One is the false you, which is called the other side, the Sitracha, which is Esau. Life? Life is about the duel, the ongoing duel between the two. When Jacob is winning, we won. Life has won. Success has won. Real success, real fulfillment has won. When Esau is winning, then it's a temporary winning because you won the darkness, you severed yourself away from the light. So, Parashat Oldot, like Parashat Chayei Sarai, it's all about resurrection. What is the secret of resurrection? The secret of resurrection is the ability to resurrect your ego every time it got a blow. Because the terrible, bad ego is, I got a blow, revenge. And there is a revenge, and there is also, who are you? You are nobody, you are nothing, do nothing. That's also the other me. The real me is the me that always, no matter what happened, knows how to resurrect and how to recreate himself all over again. That needs a lot of wisdom. Not just wisdom. You need to be smart. You need to know how to cheat your dirty ego. And who, who can do that? Your good ego. And that is the story of Jacob cheating Esau. The story of Rivka cheating Esau also. The story of Isaac that he doesn't understand who's the good guy and who's the bad guy in the story. Confused? Time to study. Go better, go deeper, study more. The more classes on the site, read the Zohar, and the most important, never forget that you were created to be happy and to, to experience life every moment. Never give up on that. Don't allow anyone, especially your inner Esau, to take it away from you. Have a great week.